Hello and happy birthday to my Geminis. Geminis. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us again. Happy birthday to my Geminis. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. With your, Gemini, your general reading, Geminis. We have some birthday gifts for you all. We have some birthday gifts for you all. Thank you to those of you all who sent me a text message letting me know what you wanted for your birthday. So we do have some birthday gifts for you all. And I'll be reaching out to you all, um, reaching back out to you all who sent me a text message um, from the previous video, right? So from the previous video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Let's get into it, Geminis. Let's get right into it. Let's see what's in your cards. We try to keep it short and sweet. The moon is in Leo. We have a waxing crescent moon in Leo. So let's get into it. When the moon is in Leo, it reminds us that our vulnerabilities really are our strength. So if you've been feeling kind of vulnerable, you know, this week and things from your past are resurfacing that make you feel a little vulnerable, be grateful for how far you've come. Don't worry about your past and what people think and what they're saying, Gemini. Um, but be, be grateful to source for how far you've come, you know, and if you're if you have an accountability partner right now and you all are pouring into each other in very healthy ways, don't forget that your moon sign can also help you with that as well. So find out what your moon sign is. We do have a link for birth charts below. Find out what your moon sign is. Go straight to Google and type in how to nurture whatever your moon sign is. That'll help you. You know, that'll also help you. And then share that with your accountability partner, right? So whether it's your spouse, your partner, your your adult kids, your siblings, whoever you feel like is going to help you get to your future self. That number six is in a shape. We had a, um, a, a new moon on double digit or master number six, six, June six. And that number six in numerology is shaped like a, a rounded back with a protruding stomach, right? That number six. And so that's your rebirth right there. You're giving birth to your future self. So you that that journey is going to be with someone else. You and somebody are go, are helping each other. Y'all are accountability partners. So that vulnerability, like as you're giving birth to your future self, is also just reminded you, reminding you of like what you've gone through in that whole process, you know, of just becoming your future self. Let's get into it, Gemini's. Let's go. Let's see what's in your cards. First card out of the deck is the Four of Wands. Here we have the Three of the Knight of Wands, the Sun card. Here we have the Emperor card, the Temperance card, and also the Eight of Swords. Yep, Four of Wands. Here we also have the Knight of Wands. So somebody is taking a leap of faith forward. Here we have the Sun card. We also have the Emperor card. Somebody is taking a leap of uh, faith forward to stay as far away from energies that are disorganized, stern, and inflexible. It does absolutely nothing for you. You're seeing things from a higher frequency, right? You're staying away from people who jump to conclusions about other people. You're staying away from people who are aggressive and people who are impulsive. You know, people who like to create a bunch of friction. They like to start fires or throw rocks and hide their hands. You're staying away from those types of energies because you know how it makes it, it, it dries up people's creativity. It's, it's a form of self-sabotage to even be connected to those types of energies who judge people from their past and don't give people an opportunity. They don't extend grace to other people. You're staying as far away from them as possible. And so sometimes when you're connected to those energies, source will allow you to go through something to show you, okay, you got off track. You come from prayer warriors, Gemini. You're supposed to be praying for people, not joining in the reindeer games, right? So source is saying to you, it dries up your creativity. It dries up your intuition being connected to people like that. And so, um, yeah. And, um, and so source doesn't want you to overthink. Source doesn't want you to forget what you see when you look in the mirror as a prayer warrior, when somebody is in need of some kind of help. Source doesn't want you to freeze up, you know, your water to dry up just because of who you're connected to people who like to stay in friction. So it's like, no, you come from prayer warriors. Somebody prayed for you and somebody needs some help, pray for them, right? So that's what Source is trying to help you with is like help, you know, you somebody's coming into your life if they're not already in your life to help you to spring into action, you know? So here we have the Two of Wands. Here we have the Wheel of Fortune. Here we have the King of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Five of Swords, and also the Six of Wands. There it is, the Two of Wands. So you and somebody, like I said before, um, 
there are some energies like i said you got the three of uh three and night sources saying to you you and somebody are learning how to take a leap of faith forward both of y'all are saying it's not your duty and responsibility to hold on to other people's insecurities they're um jumping to conclusions about people judging people from their past creating a bunch a whole bunch of friction and chaos and confusion in people's lives you know especially if your assignment is to pray for people and to love people right and so you're seeing things from a higher frequency you already know what that's about it's a game of chess right you know it's a form of mind control so so it's just saying, I'm going to make you wealthy because you're praying for people and not praying on people. You're praying for people to come out of predatory situations. Here we have the six of wands, and I see you being victorious at that, right? You're going to feel very, very fortunate that you have a guardian angel that's watching over you to do that. You know, you're praying that people come out of predatory situations. You're saying, okay, I know what kind of situation that they're in. I'm praying for them. I'm just not going to just... You know, not pray for them. As soon as God put them on my heart, I'm praying for them. You're not running back into a uh, into the woods to go get them. You're saying, I'm praying that they find a the light within themselves to come out of that. Here we have the, the page of pentacles. While well, you're using your fire for as structure and authority, right? And that's how source is saying, while well, you're inspired to invest in yourself. So you're motivated to invest in yourself. While you and somebody, like I said, are victoriously out of some, you know, moving on from some things, right? So I see source keeping you booked and busy, not burdened at all. Um, while you all are, you know, moving away from, you know, getting away from, you know, certain types of energies. Just staying as far away from them as possible. You know, here we have the two of swords. Here we also have the healing card, the eight of pentacles, the princess of swords, the king of pentacles again, and then also the dame of pentacles. So the king of pentacles came out twice. The source is making you and somebody very wealthy because, again, you all are taking those blindfolds off. So source is saying, you know, when you and somebody look back over your life and realize how many people you have have betrayed the both of you all, right? And how people have played mind games and you and somebody, both of y'all have come to the same conclusion. I would rather pray on pray for people than join in, join in on praying on people. As healers, you you and somebody are healers. And so somebody is praying for you all have a guardian angel where you feel like, okay, we feel really fortunate to have guardian angels that help us earth angels and guardian angels that prayed for us when we were lost and so that's where somebody is right now so here we have the princess of pence i mean princess of swords here we have the dame of swords so somebody is saying you know it's like you all are like kind of like you you and somebody are sending out healthy vibrations you know to somebody like you know what even if they don't know it, we're praying for them. That's what y'all are doing. Like, even if we, they don't know we're praying for them, that's you and somebody. It could be you and a spouse. It could be you and a friend. It could be you and a, uh, if you have kids, adult kids, y'all praying for people, right? That's, you know, so here we have eight of pentacles. Yep. So source is saying, um, you have at least eight streams of income in you. Somebody definitely has great command of whatever your language is um you're sitting on your throne carefully vetting your thoughts and um this is really good gemini because the moon started out in gemini the the new cycle started out in gemini <clears throat> and you said everybody the question was about you know speaking to your future self and like um coming together like asking the universe for guides and teachers and people who, who can help you to go through this rebirth and so somebody definitely um has prayed that you know source send you you know energies across your path that's going to help you to stay away from aggressive energies that jump to conclusions about people instead of they trying they know they won't find the commonality in people they constantly compare you know they constantly compare their financial situation to other people's financial situation 
they they like to uh talk about what people don't have versus what they do have i mean like you're you're praying for people in other words that's what you're doing so congratulations to you for that that's a that's what people need so again, sometimes people don't recognize that until something is happening to your kids, you know, like if you're adults and somebody is like treating your kids like that, that's when it doesn't click until that people that God has put you in that position to pray for even people who are no longer your friends. Like you may didn't even come into your mind years ago that those those mentees that you may not even thought were your mentees came across your path that God said pray for these people because I put them on your path that's not that's not by coincidence I put these people on your path and they're sitting over there laughing and joking and talking about what they don't have look how they look they don't come from this kind of family they don't have this and that and so on and so forth and somebody may have just so busy didn't even see it and then it comes back around and somebody's son is under some kind of attack and so source is saying now it's starting to come together and make sense because some people are coming back around trying to play mind games, you know, possibly with some people in it, you know, trying to play some kind of mind games. You're like, oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. We're not playing this game. No, that's do you see it as a form of mind control. Do you remember how painful it was? So I don't know who that's for, but um not sure who it's for, but I definitely feel like you and somebody are, you know, moving forward. Um, and so here we have the hangman. So it's just saying, hang in there, you know, with yourselves, hang in there with yourselves. Here we have the seven of swords, the empress card, the king of swords, the queen of cups, the ace of wands, and then also the emperor card, emperor card, or it could be, um, it can be anybody, you know, like you could be dealing with some, somebody could be dealing with some very bullying type of energies, you know, like I said, just hot headed type of energies that like to keep a whole bunch of mess started, you know, all the time. And let's see. Yeah. I feel like you and somebody are have successfully been able to get away, you know, stay y'all you and somebody's third eye is wide open as to what type of energies to stay away from. You know, like people who don't know how to use their fire. You and somebody have learned how to stay away from people who don't know how to use their fire. They like a bunch of friction, they like to tease people for what they don't have. They, they think it's funny. You know, here we have Queen of Cups. It's actually made you all more compassionate. Here we also have the King of Swords here. You know, here we also have the Seven of Swords here. Um, and people got to be real careful with that because <laughs> God blessing people like right up under people's noses and people can't see it. And so people are starting to get real wise about like, hmm, okay, you were smart enough you, people may not have been smart enough enough to know before to keep things under wraps and be quiet about stuff but people are starting to learn okay you need to be quiet don't don't share everything yeah but i feel like somebody was definitely dealing with some energies who like to they just very immaturely like very disorganized stern and inflexible basically it's like their way or the highway if they don't have this they broke they poor they broke busted and disgusted they lost this they don't have that they like to spread that kind of stuff about people um that kind of stuff and so source is saying you know what looks like you got at least eight streams of income in you it's but something came across your path that makes you more compassionate towards people who you know Something took the blindfolds off your eyes. Something woke somebody up out of a nightmare. Something woke somebody up quick up out of a nightmare. Yeah. Here we have the two of um, wands and help you and somebody get away quick. Somebody helped you to, you know, get away real quick. It's like, okay, you and somebody said, okay, let's get away from like, uh, the opportunities that's come, coming across for you and somebody else is a tons of opportunities. Y'all had to move on from the disappointment. Y'all had to learn how to move on from the past disappointment and learn how to be more strategic and learning how to move on from the pain, surviving a lot of pain, and you all did it. That's right. The demonic attacks, 
that's what somebody had to learn how to move on from the demonic attacks here we had the king of wands yeah and that's how you all ended you prayed to get away from the constant demonic attacks the constant judgment the constant you know predatory energies preying on every little thing that you do the laughing the the, the something y'all had to you know and that's where the breakthrough came in yeah and just asking why you know why because again i see how incredibly smart somebody because you have a big heart that's what it is you have a big heart you're very warm spirited you come from prayer warriors and so a source is going to teach somebody how to balance it out legacy wealth but keep things close to the cuff yeah keep things close to the cuff at some point looking at the cards here somebody's going to be so um there's only going to be so um very very private when it comes to who knows what you have because somebody had to kind of possibly had to learn the hard way here we have the queen of wands here i see you got the king and queen of wands here where people are so you know you as like a, a, a very um small celebrate you know celebration here just between you and somebody just celebrating you know your success but you're going to keep things very very close you know to the cuff um not telling many people at all just because of all the heck that somebody went through all the pain somebody had to go through with having a big heart trying to help people here we also had the empress card yep came out twice yeah big heart trying to bring people along trying to help people gemini and just keep getting hurt after one painful situation after another you said never again nobody want to go through that kind of pain trying to help people and so source is saying somebody had to go you know had to go and mend their own broken heart um you know had to completely heal that's what got you to king of swords yeah source had to align you with a king of swords somebody who had to learn how to heal their own broken heart to help you teach like either you are the one that's king of swords or somebody that's connected to you gemini is king of swords right they had to teach you how to either you or they had to, somebody had to heal their own broken heart so yeah either way either way either way everybody's on their throne but somebody regrets lying to you about something so somebody's not happy without you um yeah somebody's not happy without you but it's time to open up your vault door prepare for an increase in pay um yeah your ancestors are very proud of you you are who they pray for relax the angel of wisdom prophecy and wisdom is with you at what age did your parents work on their shadow self and at what age did you work on your shadow self yeah somebody got a whole bunch of mess started you know and they know you have a big heart but i feel like somebody put you in a very it's like somebody put you two energies in particular put you in wilderness situations for you to fend for yourself and like you were supposed to figure out what you were supposed to do um and they were supposed to protect you and didn't yeah and so there's some one of them in particular like basically you know saying that they miss you both of them saying that they whoever they are is saying that they miss you but um one in particular like i said neither one of them are really happy without you whoever they are who y'all only you know who they are so you know and through prayer you know you'll know exactly who they are so through prayer you'll know exactly who they are gemini but source is saying um indulgence so you're you are worth every desire every dream demand what is yours demand what you need yep demand what is yours demand what you need demand what is yours demand what you need so yep so it looks like looking at your cars here Source had to bless some people under the radar, had to really kind of sort of take you, like really take you up under the radar and heal you, like really heal somebody and say, okay, I'm going a, I'm to a heal you. But when you come back out, people are not going to recognize you, Gemini. They're not going to recognize you and keep it that way. Keep a comfortable distance because even though they have evolved, it would be too triggering. It's... um. And so that's what you're passing on to people is like, what in the world? So I am always mindful and live with only within each moment I have. Yeah. So, yeah, I feel like somebody knows now the next moment is not even promised. You're not living the rest of your life out, you know, trying to, you know, re 
connect, you know, with energies from your past to show them, hey, you know, I made it out on the other side successful. For what? You know, for what? Still have a big heart. You still love deep. You still love hard, you know. Um, still genuinely care about people. But, but Source had to bring somebody through some stuff having to do with their own kids or child or something for somebody to see, you know, that's, you've always been on that prayer warrior mission, but I needed to show you some stuff so I can get you back to pure consciousness. Number two, I am diplomatic. You have great talent for finding solutions. Your intuitive and unbiased nature allows you to see all sides of any situation and advise others towards the most fair and beneficial outcome. I am diplomatic. So it could have been kids. It could have been a child and a parent that you had to experience going through wilderness situation. It could have been two kids. It could have been both parents. It could have been somebody that source kind of puts you right there in the middle of something, Jim and I, for you to say, okay, let me get back to prayer warrior status. I have a big heart, but I'm waking up out of a nightmare and I need to get back to focus, right? So you don't even have somebody at, the, at a point right here looking at your cards here. You're saying... The, the energies that want to reconnect with you now because, you know, things are going very well for you in your life. You're like, hey, all is forgiven, but I got to stay focused. All is forgiven. Now, I don't have time to sit around and kiki and talk and all that other stuff. I, I'm, I'm focused. So, yeah. What do you need to release? That's right. What do you need to release? Yeah. Yeah, people think that you have time to sit around and, and chit chat and talk because it. I feel like there's some energies. The reason why they want to come back is they want to just kind of sort of see if you're holding a grudge. They don't even have to worry about that. You don't even have time to hold a grudge. You're too busy praying for people that are being preyed upon. Because you, like I said, you still have a you have a good heart. That's what you, that's what source is saying to you is like, but you're pouring into yourself as well, right? So abundance. That's right. You have an abundance mindset. You're getting away from those people that have a... That's what That's what I'm saying. You're getting away from people that have a scarcity mindset. Nothing will wake you up faster. That, like If you didn't know the difference between an abundance and, an, and a scarcity mindset is when some people that you love dearly are under some kind of an attack from people that have a scarcity mindset. They trying to stop and block everything people that you love are trying to get to that point. Like if your parents or your kids or siblings, people that you love, they try and stop everything. And you're like, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so source is saying something woke somebody up. Something woke you up, Gemini. Well, you said, now, wait a minute now. Okay, now, I, I didn't, it didn't really, may not have really bothered you when you was going through some stuff. Because you had a big heart, you was going with the flow. But something stopped somebody dead in their tracks and said, okay, I, I didn't know what a scarcity mindset was before. But now I understand the whole concept of crab in a barrel mentality. I got to get back to prayer. I got to get back to prayer. I forgive all them people that try to stop me. But now I'm just saying, okay, I got to pray for... You know, you got to pray for whoever source assigned to you. So here we have 34. There is no need to fear, dear one. Protected you are and protected you will always be. That's it. That's it. Yeah, you're not holding any grudges. You're not mad, not vindictive, none of those things. You're like, oh, hey, you release all of that stuff. You're moving on. You, you're too busy with an abundance mindset. You want everybody to win. You know, you want everybody to... There's enough in the universe to go around for everybody. Here we have 15. I am wise. Your love for others is powerful and you are able to spread your gift of support far and wide. Your curious and your social nature brings you in contact with a variety of people, all with who would benefit from your warm, heartfelt words of wisdom. Yep, that is what I have for you. Thank you so much for uh, joining me. I will see you all in the next video. Um, oh, here's the questions for the moon and Leo. First question is, do you connect to your core, comma, your center daily? Second question is, how do you express your creative side? The third question, is your current wardrobe really expressing who you are? Fourth question is, do you protect your energy and time by politely saying no to requests and invitations that are not aligned to your being? And then last but not least is, could you create more time and space for self-exploration and self-expression? So hopefully those questions help you, Gemini. I'll see you in the next reading. Bye.